Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the content to show support. If your spirit is just guiding you to watch, go ahead and do that as well. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of Source is going on here. I hope you all are doing well. We have a King of Pentacles falling out here. Uh, as we know, the King of Pentacles are people that are down to earth. Someone may want to reach out to you for something. Let's see what's going on with this King of Pentacles. So they, oh, okay. So we have a King of Pentacles that may be waiting on some type of financial payout. Um, so someone could be waiting for like a payout from an institution. Maybe they're even waiting um, to come towards you. Someone is planning something, right? Um, and someone has been planning something for quite a while. This is like how to come towards you to bring something to your attention. This has to do with you receiving justice in a situation that has to do with your finances. Um, so you may have had some type of financial resource that was supposed to be given to you, um, but it was stolen from you by either an institution or something of that nature. Um, there could be something going on here with a marriage as well, but I'm hearing that uh, a resource, uh, inheritance, something of that nature was stolen from someone and maybe there's balance being brought into the situation. This could be something that you were not aware of and this queen, King of Pentacles is taking matters into their own hand to bring balance into this situation by bringing it to your attention. Um, I keep hearing they didn't know. So they mean, this means that you didn't know. Maybe you didn't know you were a privileged lady or a privileged gentleman. This is going to lead to a victory for you. There could be an institution as far as maybe like a group that has been working behind the scenes to block this resource from making its way to you. But victory is insured to you. So you will be receiving this financial payout. I said a group and this is falling out. There's a group for uh, fighting amongst themselves. They may have had some type of force victory um in regards to this resource this inheritance um someone here there's some type of land that was left to you there's some type of money that was left to you by a deceased loved one um someone may be sick and passing away and they put, left you in their will for some of you this person has already passed away um, and they left you in their will this group has been working together to block you from receiving this this uh, 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 payout, this inheritance. For some of you, this, these group members used some of this money, right? Yes, you have a message coming in. This group has been working behind the scenes to prevent you from receiving some type of message. There is someone monitoring emails, text messages, text messages, forwarding calls to different numbers and things of that nature so that you cannot receive some type of communications and it's being put us it's being stopped okay um there is some type of bribery going on behind the scenes someone may be paying people to stay quiet but it's not going to happen the truth will be revealed something about law enforcement the fact that i see the uh, justice card and that king of source out here means that the law is involved okay balance is being brought into this situation someone could have paid a king of source to hide something to manipulate a document uh to forge a docu document as far as maybe your signature or maybe just saying that you received something that you did not receive and karma is coming back to bite these people in the behind these people are fighting amongst themselves they're scattering is what i just heard it is that you turn the light on and the roaches are flying of crawling every direction to get away from you um different generations of roaches and stuff is what i just heard so these people are scattering you're showing up here as the star so this means that the truth is being seen you are the truth uh something is being exposed you are pure hearted people have been painting you in a light that's not fading of you for someone i keep hearing that someone may have recorded you doing something explicit this is not like you doing p-o-r-n but some Someone recording you to make it seem like you are into something like that and they've been sharing it with people violating your rights so there could be some type of legal case going on or that's going to take place because of that someone violated your privacy in a really disgusting way it's going to be brought to your attention however do not you know 
let your emotions get the best of you stay calm when this is brought to your attention but there is something here about nudity someone being recorded without them knowing like for a long period of time is that someone hid a secret camera in your room or your home or something like that and they've been recording you and sharing it with people in a group without your knowledge and even if you knew this is not something you would have consented to all right uh so yeah this group i keep hearing false victory false victory so they celebrated a little too early they celebrated something too early this is an organized group i heard organized crime but i use the word group this is an organized group criminals that do this on a regular this is not their first time stealing they do a lot of manipulations behind the scenes okay this is not their first time these people did not expect for law enforcement to step in and look into this matter because something just was not adding up okay these people wanted to cost you some type of heartbreak okay a king of swords accepted money to come in and cost you some type of illusion to break your heart just to break you all together right cost you some type of destructs uh something of that nature and it's not going according to plan. You don't want anything to do with this person. It's what I just heard. You're keeping your distance. Spirit is keeping this person out of your energy because they don't have pure intent for you. So because you are a star C, you are being shown as someone that is protected. So when people try to come into your energy with ulterior motives, they are blocked. The only way people come into your energy is if the most high qualifies them to be in your energy or you put yourself specifically in that person's energy right and this is something i've noticed about myself as well over the years the only way i've ended up with karmics is because i put myself around those types of people but if i don't go looking for them the most high keeps them away from me so over the years i've learned to just stay to myself because i cannot deal with any more karmics i'm kind of over it i am over it i am over it but you are protected in this situation, there has been a lot of actions being taken behind the scenes to interfere with your safety, your well-being, your privacy, things of that nature. Um, and you have been being protected by the cosmos from these knuckleheads that just don't know when to let go. Okay, so there is something where a king of wands may be heartbroken because he lost some type of opportunity with you because he partnered up with this toxic karmic group to go up against you this person is in some type of competition with a king of pentacles um this king of pentacles could be your new partner um that you're supposed to have a, a a connection with i'm not sure about the specifics of that but this king of wands is heartbroken because he has lost his opportunity with you okay there's there's a king of swords in here as well that wants to have some type of connection with you honey i don't know what you're going to do about this situation it's a hot mess.com but that is your business to figure out i'm just here to give the story okay there's something legal going on there is something legal going on that you may not have been aware of or this is coming up it will be brought to your attention stay calm in this situation you are protected your ancestors want you to know that they are standing by they are speaking on your behalf through people they are doing taking the necessary steps on your behalf and something will be illuminated to you so do not even worry whatever you're doing right now i just heard resting period so you could be in a resting period where you are either studying uh, uh, just relaxing maybe you work a nine to five and you're just going on about your life not stressing too much about anything just laying low that is exactly what you're supposed to be doing you may be feeling like your life is at a standstill because you're someone that's typically busy but spirit wants you to know that things are going exactly the way they are meant to go okay so don't worry about that but you have a lot of uh, eyes on you People may be watching you on social media. People may be uh, still invading your privacy. There's some type of intention to keep trying to agitate you, get a reaction out of you. If you are someone on social media, there are people trying to get some type of reaction out of you, but they're not getting it. Your, your, your wealth is protected is what I just heard. We have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom here. I've, I just heard that your wealth is protected. So whatever these people were trying to steal from you, it is insured to you, okay? My goodness. Yes, the strength card. 
Stay calm. Do not let anything get a reaction out of you. Do not let any Dizzy Bell, any karmic, low vibrational, Karen, Shaniqua, whoever, get a reaction out of you. Stay calm and, you know, keep on going about your day, okay? When people cannot vibe on your vibration, they try to bring you down. You are showing up here in your emperor energy. God dang it, I love this for you. You are taking charge of your life, laying down the law. No one is coming in your energy that you don't want in your energy. You've already told the universe and your ancestors, I don't want this person in my energy. They're blocking them out of your energy. That's as easy as it is for you because of this energy that you are showing up in as the star sea. All you have to do is request and the universe moves on your behalf. These people, I keep hearing that they are scattering like roaches. They are scattering like roaches. These people are afraid of you. These people have stolen from other people before. It could be their lights. They stole people's lights, their positivity, their forward movement, uh, opportunities and things like that. But for some reason with you, it has been extremely difficult. And this is because you are a true star See, These people don't know what to do with themselves. This is like a coat coming together to destroy someone but then only for them to find out that you are like one of the 144,000 or you could be like Isis in flesh there is something very divine about you very ancient about you and it has prevented these people from being able to take you down and they were baffled for a while but now they are living in fear confusion conflict chaos and these are all things they were intending for you these are people that were doing things behind the scenes to have you living in some type of mental conflict unsure of what to do with yourself being unsure of yourself living with like low self-esteem living in poverty and things of that nature but this is what these people are going through and you're showing up here in your, in your emperor energy which means that you have taken charge right you're not letting anyone fool around with you there's an emperor in here that wants to have wish fulfillment with you so so that means this king of pentacles king of wands king of swords are not for you you have a king a, a emperor in here that wants to have wish fulfillment with you may want to give to you as well equal gifts and take someone wants to treat you wants to give to you it's like someone wants to spoil you is what i just heard okay someone sees you as very genuine uh, very vibrant, lively it's that like you you are like a muse for this emperor is what i just heard vibacious that word just came lord have mercy honey who are you i love this for you um but yes this man wants to like spoil you wants to settle down with you and things like that it just it's just a, a, a crazy yeah someone wants to have a passionate beginning with you someone wants to send a message to you you can expect to receive some type of good news from an emperor i don't know how this news is going to come in it could be like a text message phone call email letter in the mail or maybe just a person to person conversation but someone is really smitten by you there is a message that keep coming up in my head where it's like someone watches someone watches my channel and you think that i'm talking about you about a situation i don't know if i don't know you or maybe i know you but i'm not aware let me tell you how terror works with a lot of us readers we are not paying attention to people's stories, people that are around us. We're not looking into your like the genuine tarot readers, the genuinely gifted ones. We are not looking into your lives. We don't read into your lives. We don't care what's going on with you, whether you're a family member, a friend, co-worker, whoever you are. We don't read into any of that. Unless you come and ask us to look into your life, we don't make the effort because that's invasion of privacy. That's invading your uh, that's invading your privacy and that's a violation of free will. You have to give us permission to look into your life before we can even see anything about you, okay? So if we do a reading and it resonates with you, then that means that there is something going on with you that you need to pay attention to. But we are not coming on here to tell your story. We don't know your story unless spirit reviews it reviews your spirit your story to us specifically we're not looking for your story so if maybe i did a reading that resonated with you uh i'm glad it resonated with you but i wasn't looking for you 
Okay, I don't know if that makes sense. But this emperor wants to send you some type of message about you two maybe working together, starting some type of a uh, collaboration. Um, but this person is genuinely interested in you. There is something here about an age gap that this person is worried about. They are worried that you may think that they're too old for you. Uh, there's, he's worried about something. I think it has to do with his age. Or he may think that he's not worthy to be with you. There's something about this emperor's mental that keeps coming up. He thinks a lot. It's like he's in his head quite a lot. Um, and he keeps worrying if you're going to reject him. And I don't know why he's worried about that. Okay? But you can expect to receive some type of message about uh, 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 finances, wish fulfillment, something like that. Yeah, this emperor is interested in you. He's having a lot of... Um, dreams and stuff about you someone is someone is very attracted to you he finds you very attractive very pure kind hearted genuine he's i just heard genuine nature so he sees you as someone very genuine modest and this is what he's been looking for in a partner okay but someone has a lot of naughty thoughts about you honey okay <laughs> A lot of explicit thoughts, okay? But this person may be trapped in something. This person may be trapped in something. Either this is his mental, which I just mentioned. Someone is in their mind quite a lot. Yeah, I think that's what it is. He's trapped in his mind quite a lot, okay? He keeps thinking that things are not going to work out if he reaches out to you, that you're going to be another disappointment or, you know... You're going to reject him. Someone is in their mind quite a lot. Someone is in their mind because that's where they are choosing to be. Is what I just heard. It. That is exactly how I was told to say it. You are in your mind because you choose to be in your mind. Like you're holding yourself back. You need to go within, find the truth, and accept the truth and move forward. You are afraid to take some type of new path in life, but this is the path that's going to lead to fulfillment for you. It's what I'm uh, uh, being told, okay? So you are afraid to take a chance, but that is the very thing that's going to bring fulfillment to you that you've been looking for for a long time. Okay, Emperor, whoever you are, you know the truth. You know the truth. So maybe you are asking for advice from people and they're giving you the wrong advice. It's that you're telling them you want to connect with a privileged lady and they are discouraging you from connecting with her, maybe because of her age, maybe because of her background. You may have wealth and she doesn't. So maybe people are judging her because of that. There's a lot of different reasons going on here, but sir. What I'm being told to tell you is you need to go within. The answer that you you uh, uh, receive is what you need to go with. Tune the rest of the world out. Because there's someone around you that's giving you false information. Okay, there is someone around you that is giving you false information because they have ulterior motives. Yeah, they have ulterior motives. Someone here has fallen from grace. It is this king of swords. Gosh, darn it. This is someone that was well respected. This is someone you had a soul contract with. This is someone you were supposed to work with, but he fell from grace because he did something fraudulent or he betrayed you in some way, shape, or form. Yes, someone fell from grace. They have lost respect in their community amongst their colleagues because he accepted bribery to do something to an innocent person and the truth is being seen so this man has fallen from grace this is like possibly a pi uh a fbi agent something of their nature a police officer accepting bribery to block someone's forward movement someone's work Block the truth. Stop someone from receiving a message. Deleting emails. Something like that. But this person has fallen from grace. And they are having a hard time. A hard time dealing with that. 
is that the truth was shown to someone and they still choose to do the wrong thing because the money was just so good. And they cannot come towards you. Now they're stuck. This person is stuck. Whatever actions they wanted to take to come towards you to make things right, they cannot. Dang. Like spirit is blocking this person out of your energy. They cannot come towards you. They have ulterior motive. They're falling from grace. So they're not being seen as genuine anymore. Okay. Dang. This person cannot come towards you. If they had some type of contract with you, it has been gnawed, is what I'm hearing. But there's something about this emperor. Something about this emperor. I'm not being shown what it is. There's something hidden about him too. He could have done something in the past as well. And he's trying to bring balance. And right now he's trapped as well in his mind. And that's why he cannot come forward to you. Right now he can't. He cannot approach you because he did something he was not supposed to do. In the past, he took some type of rash action against you. And now it's hunting him. Now he's trapped in his mind. This is why he's not coming towards you. He may have done something too that led to him falling from grace. And he wants to make things right with you. And he's being told that he has to tell the truth. Okay. He is being told that he has to tell the truth. Yeah, there's a secret. This man has to tell you the truth in order for you to the seal onto calmer waters. He was told to remove himself from amongst these people, let go, see things from a higher perspective. Absolutely. Dang. These people, every single person in this collaboration was being tested and they all failed. Every single one of them failed. They were being tested and they didn't realize that. This is like someone seeing a star seed and they're into like dark magic. There is an occultist in this scenario. And all of them were being tested to see if they would tell the truth. It's like this group, a portion of this group already knew that everything that was being said or done to this person was based on dishonesty. People were lying. And every time a new person was approached, their character was being tested. And they didn't know that. And each and every person failed. It's what I'm being told. So every person, I don't know how many is in this group. There's upwards of 12 people in this group. It could be a whole organization. They failed. It's like someone knows the truth about this person, this star C. Someone knows the truth. And every person that they sent failed. That means that this whole group are full of liars, tricksters, addicts, is what I just heard. Malicious people, low self-esteem, insecurity, so many words here. Chaos is how they're de being defined. Chaos. So they all fail. Not only were they being tested by someone behind the scenes, they were being tested by the universe, by your ancestors. You know, oftentimes when you encounter star seas, the universe is testing you to see how you're going to treat them. Right? The universe is testing you to see how you're going to treat them. And if you treat them right, there's always a reward. Your life is blessed. Blessings are multiplied 10 times four. If you treat them wrong, karma is multiplied 10 times four. So these people are going through some type of, some, some type of ending and they weren't expecting that. They were expecting to have victory, but it was short lived. The only way these people know how to get victory, what I just heard, is by bribery. Paying people behind the scenes to lie, to cause illusions, things of that nature. This is the only way they know how to, how to have victory, how to win over other people. These are some malicious people. Absolutely malicious. 
someone in here thinks that they can come and get married to you and it's going to lead to some type of victory with them for them um, because then they will have some type of uh, a connection to your resources your inheritance that you have coming in <laughs> that's that's hilarious that is hilarious someone think they're very someone thinks they're very strategic like they're gonna come in propose to you you're gonna say yes you two are gonna live happily ever after there's some type of queen of wands in here i wouldn't be surprised if she's going to jail this woman cannot come in your energy someone cannot come towards you there's a masculine actually these people cannot come near you there's a queen of wands that wanted to come in your energy to pick some type of fight this person could be looking for you is watching you on social media if you have a social media platform but they cannot come someone is stuck someone is blocked okay while they were watching you they didn't realize they were being watched it's a lot of madness madness is what i just heard okay yeah something here about a union these people were working hard to block a union the fact that this card this four of wands is falling below this king of pentacles and this king of wands means that they lost an opportunity with you to be in a union and one of them may want to come in and cause some type of facade to get in a union with you just to trap you neither of these people have genuine intentions for you is what i'm hearing neither of them have genuine intentions for you but because they are aware that you have some type of resource coming in they want to attach themselves to you one of them is working on their character is what i just heard they're working on being a better version of themselves. It could be this King of Wands that's working on his character. Honey, I don't know. I'm not looking into it. I just know that he's a mess. I'm not judging him, but honey, he's a mess. This is someone that juggles, and this is someone that was collaborating against you. So if he's going through some type of healing, uh, working on his character, go for him. Hopefully, it is a genuine effort. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah there's a couple in here that's losing sleep about someone's abundance about someone receiving some type of abundance some type of victory there's a couple in here that's losing sleep it's like they've been working hard behind the scenes to block you from receiving a, a, an opportunity a victory something and you're still receiving it. These people celebrated too early. Absolutely too early. It's a whole couple here losing sleep over your victory. Dang. Someone was waiting to receive your inheritance from the courts and then they got bad news. The court is court is that hold on. Hold on. Two and two are not adding up. Two and two are not adding up. The mask has fallen off. The court of someone is looking into stuff. These people were trying to do you. Listen, I sort of said these people are trying to do you something and then this fell out. These people were trying to do you something, my darling. To end you. To steal from you. They figure if you were not around, then they could get what's yours. No one would miss you. You didn't matter. You could be someone that's oftentimes alone, like the rest of us star sees. When people see us alone, then they think we're easy picks. They can just do whatever they want to us until they come for us and then supernatural things start happening in their lives. Okay? Someone wants to come in and give you some type of foolish offer. There's some type of plan to invite you to a party, a social event, something of that nature, just to gaslight you. They want to fake, fake love. You show you fake love just so they can start this cycle over again. Stealing from you, lying from you. I mean, lying to you, misleading you, undercutting you. 
So any social events, any party you get invited to for a little while, say no. If your if your energy tells you not to go, if your soul tells you not to go, do not go. Because there's a plan to do something malicious to you, to embarrass you, just to do you something, my dear. These people want to laugh over you. Madness. And then you're showing up here as a... Oh, my Lord. Oh, Lord. You're being removed out of, out of these people. You've been, like, removed from these people's energy. You are rejecting their invitation. You're not responding. Someone may be sending you messages, emails, and things of that nature, and you're not responding. I wouldn't either. Okay. Someone in here... It's a narcissist and they are being guided or they've been guided for a long time to see things from a higher perspective. But this is someone that is set in their ways. This is a narcissist. Their ego is so big, even the planet Earth cannot hold it, cannot, cannot uh, contain it. And they are leading themselves right to the slaughterhouse. Someone is going to be going to jail, prison for a while. Someone does not care what they do now, what crimes they're breaking, what laws they're breaking. They don't care. They don't like you. They feel entitled to what's yours. This energy has an ending that's coming for them that is going to be supernatural. They've been guided to see things from a higher perspective, but this is someone that's stubborn. Someone is being told that you are indeed a queen of cups and they need to leave you alone and they don't care. This is like someone saying, yep, I know she's genuine. Yep, I know she's true. Yep, I know he's genuine. Yep, I know he's the truth, but I don't care. I'm gonna do what I want to. And that's okay. So will the universe. The universe is gonna do what they want to do as well with you. And someone is about to have a hard fall from grace. Not that they had grace before, but when I said that, I mean they're about to have a fall in life that they won't be able to recover from, okay? This connection for some of you that people were interfering with, they wanted a masculine to believe that he was just having lustful feelings for you and that you were someone lustful. You were someone loose, you slept around, you were into all types of activities and it's not the truth. You're showing up here as the queen of cups, meaning you're someone genuine, loving. You show compassion to people. You're a bit of a dreamer, okay? You live in your own world, but you're very genuine with people, very caring, nurturing, intuitive, spiritual. But people were painting you out to be someone loose, reckless, emotionally imbalanced. Someone that didn't have control of their emotions. Someone that was easy to manipulate and is not coming out their way. Someone may have gone with another queen of cups because of lust. That was it. It's like he had a choice between a true queen of cups and a fake queen of cups. He went with a fake queen of cups because she was easier to get with. Okay. Yeah, people are losing sleep. There's too many cars, so I'm going to reshuffle. People are losing sleep. I keep hearing scattering like roaches. Yes. <laughs> Someone is keeping their distance. Someone is wanting to get as far away from that Queen of Cups, the false one that I was telling you about. She's being seen for exactly who she is. You're being told to stand your ground as well. This is crazy. This is crazy. I don't know how long some of you have been going through these cycles with these crazy people, but it's coming to an end. Okay, it is coming to an end. The cycle of chaos, karma, emotionally imbalanced, mentally imbalanced people trying to end 
Star seeds is over. Balance is being brought into every situation. People will be held accountable for their actions. No stone will be left unturned. All the I's will be dotted and all the T's will be crossed. Everyone will be held accountable. Okay? You have a new love coming in and you are being told to protect this new love. This new relationship. It is going to be of equal give and take. Protect it at all costs. This is when you, this is one of those love, when you love, when you and your partner have your own secret language. When people try to come and interfere with your relationship, you kind of side eye each other and like, then you just understand what's going on. This is what you're about to have. And you're being told to protect this new love, this new relationship. Because whoever you are partnering up with is exactly like you spiritually. This is like a, a higher level soulmate that you are going to be connecting with. These masculines miss their opportunity with you. So spirit is sending you a new soulmate, a higher level soulmate that resonates on the same frequency that you do. So it's going to be a genuine connection, reciprocity, teamwork, a beautiful family dynamic. Okay, inspirational relationship. Absolutely. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles, the music magician. I literally just split the deck and this is what came out. A successful bond. Legacy is what we're talking about here. And this is what these people have been trying to block. People blocked it with this King of Pentacles. They blocked it with this King of Wands. They blocked it with this King of Swords. Well, technically, they didn't really block it because each of these masculines took actions of their free will to do whatever it is that they did behind the scenes. So this group didn't really do anything to block these masculines from coming towards you. These masculines did it on their own. Why? Because they're mental. They were not mentally stable enough to make decisions on their own. And when you are in this age group and you cannot make decisions on your own, people can tell you, hey, don't go to that person and you don't go to them. Don't get in a relationship with that person and you don't get in a relationship with them. That is your free will. You are exercising your free will. So then in the end, you cannot turn around and get upset with this group whether they're your family, your friends, you can't get you cannot get upset with them because you missed an opportunity with a star seed. You have to hold yourself accountable. Right? You have to hold yourself accountable. You cannot blame anyone for the actions that you take in life. We are all responsible for our own actions. These are not children. There's something out here about a child, but this child is innocent, so we're not even going to touch on that. As you all know, I don't touch on children topics here. I had a dream the other night about someone doing something with something to a child. I, I'm not doing a read on that because things like that are too, uh, uh, too uh, heavy for me. I don't like to touch on topics like that. So when I have premonitions that have to do with children, I just, I, I pay attention to it. I may do like a, 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 a look into it behind the scenes, but I'm not coming on screen to do any read into that. Okay. But these masculines have to take responsibility for their own actions. Lord have mercy. I'm going to take this seven of so, uh, seven of pentacles. A uh, seven <laughs> Lord Jesus, seven of cups card. Yeah. Lord Jesus, a brand new passionate beginning in love. And there's still someone that wants to come in and cause illusions. It's like someone wants to come in, even though it's too late for them to be with you. They know you have a higher level soulmate coming in. They still want to come in and cause some type of illusion so that you can pick them. So be careful. Someone is still stern on coming in to cause you some type of illusion because they know once you connect with your higher level soulmate, you two are going to have endless possibilities and resources in business. You two are going to, going to be building an empire. And these masculines that miss their opportunities with you still think that they have the option to come towards you, but they don't. They don't. Okay? Absolutely not. 
They are being sat down by the universe. He said, no. What did I just say? What did I just say? They're being told to move on. <laughs> move on. It's what they're being told. They're too toxic to be with you. Unheal. Unwilling to do the work to heal. So they have to move on. Whoever wants to come in and, 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 and cause this illusion with you, nope. Spirit is not letting them in your energy. You're going to have your brand new passionate beginning because that's what's due to you. This is part of your contract. This is part of your soul contract. Yeah. Thank you. Someone took a reckless action to collaborate with people. You are stepping into a brand new beginning. You can expect to be meeting with someone and this will be your soulmate. But you're going to be having some type of meeting. Something is being looked at. There's a letter or information that is being seen, that has been found. I don't know how to put that, but something has been illuminated. Something has been seen. The truth is being revealed. Someone is being asked a lot of questions. There's some type of interrogation going on in this situation. Someone told a lie and they are being interrogated about a financial matter. The, courts, the court is involved in here. Someone is being asked a whole lot of questions. Is that well? You told us this before, but now you're saying this, and you told us uh, told us this the time before that, and now you're saying this. So we don't know what to go uh, go with because your story keeps changing. You told us she was like this. You told us he was like this, but this is not adding up. You told us he signed this paperwork. You told us she signed this paperwork, but we're finding out that this person didn't sign this paperwork, and you've been collecting money, or you uh, accept their a payout on their behalf, or you say you were this person, and now we're finding out that you are not this person, so we need explanation. This is exactly what's going on, and someone cannot keep their story straight. They don't remember what lie they told a whole year ago, six months ago, so they have to backtrack but they can't keep track of the lies. So they're telling a new story. And now these investigators are looking deeper into stuff. They're looking into stuff even more because every time someone opens their mouth, there's a new lie being told. There is a new lie being told. Someone is extremely reckless with how they move, but they think they are smart. And these investigators may be having a ball listening to this person tell lies. And this person does not even know that they have information on them. This is like investigators having everything they need. But they just want to see what you're going to say when they sit you down for the last time to talk to you. And they're just having a ball. Like the people behind the, the glass are just laughing their little behinds off. Watching you on camera pretending to be innocent, pretending like you are genuine, that you have someone's uh, a best interest at heart, but they know you didn't. And they're just watching you. It's like them giving you one last opportunity to do right, but you flunk it again. That's what's going on. And someone does not realize that the truth has been revealed. Like these investigators, whoever they are, have so much information on these people. It's ridiculous. Like they don't even need people to testify at this point. They don't need anyone to testify. And someone is worried. Like worried. Like this car keeps staying at the, at the bottom of this deck. They are worried because they didn't think people would look into what they were doing. They were saying, someone is worried. Someone is worried about an offer being made to you. Someone is worried about a commitment being made to you. Someone in here is just worried about everything. It's like they went out of their way. They went above and beyond to block you. And nothing that they blocked you. 
And any opportunities that blocked from you was not meant for you. Okay? It was not meant for you. Someone wanted to break you. This group wanted to break someone, but they couldn't. But they kept trying. And there's someone in here that's going to keep trying. But every action they take is just sealing their fit. Everyone in this is being questioned or will be questioned. And they're going to keep lying, not realizing that the truth is already known. Someone, I just heard someone forged a document. Someone wrote a false police report. Something about signature. I heard something about signature. So someone forged a signature. Identity, identity theft is what I just heard. Lord have mercy. All this for money. Dang, all this for money. The things people will do for money. For money. They did all of this to be left out in the cold with nothing. They did all of this to be left out in the cold. Dang. The court's justice is being brought in this situation to make sure you have your new beginning, a fresh start in life. But this collaboration is over. These people are losing a lot, a lot more than they thought they would. As a matter of fact, they didn't even expect to lose anything, but they are. There will be no gaslighting because you're not attending that event. Yeah, <laughs> there will be no gaslighting. You are moving forward in life. I'm going to leave it there. Have a blessed day, my darlings, and stay blessed.